Hi, in this exercise, we have to determine the reactions acting on this beam at points A and B. So we start by opening the software. After that, we go to Tools, Units and Format, and we have to check what kind of units are used. Okay, then we go to Imp Imperial, then OK. After that, we see how many axes we have one two three in this direction and two in this direction zero seven ten and zero four so zero seven ten and in this direction zero four then apply okay now we start plotting, choose symbol bar, then from the beginning, but before that, check on the drag, then start drawing. Okay. In the next step, we have to determine the type of support. As it's shown here, B is a roller and A is a pin so we go to support and pin I have modified this one to be just like uh, uh, oriented at 90 degrees not like the the original one this is the original one as you see here but I have uh, orient I have rotated it 90 degrees in order to be just like uh, sorry like this one okay and at point B we see that this this kind of supports is oriented at an angle so what what is this angle how to calculate it so firstly we have to calculate the inner angle this one by using the tan so tan inverse 3 over 4 we get 36.869 we subtract this result from 90 degrees and we get 53.13 okay so the angle is 53.13 we go back to the software and this is the roller we modify it from the direction minus 53.13 then okay rename it as roller 2 then add now we assign this uh, type of support to point B sorry not this one this one roller okay next step is assigning loads so to assign loads first we have to add load types okay did load one then close it after that we add loads as we see here we have just one type of load which is distributed load 500 pounds per feet so and they are acting on just this portion of the beam okay so we go to bar type then this one minus 0 0.5 kips per feet okay then we add it and apply it assign it to this portion okay we turn on the view from here now before analyzing we go to loads and load table to check what type of loads have been added as we as we see here we have self weight and uniform load we don't need self weight we just need the added load which is 500 pounds per feet then you close it and start analyzing now we check the results 
reactions or just we can go to results diagram of bars reactions fx and fz and my in this case we we don't have my then and description apply now we compare what we got with those in the textbook this is the solution as you see here ay is 2.7 and ax is 1.07 and mb the normal force is 1.33 as we see here we have 1.7 1.07 and here 2.07 the same and at point B we have 1.07 for FX and 0.8 for FZ as you notice we don't need the uh, these values we want the normal force so how to calculate this one just put them under the squared root after squaring them and adding them to each other that means 1.336 and this value is just exactly the same as the one shown here which is 1.33 so that's the end of this video thanks for watching Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share.